Hello fellow Minecrafters and welcome to Bravery TV. Today we're going to do something a little bit different and show you guys how to run your own Minecraft server just like a realm without the subscription cost. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to minecraft.net and look for the server bedrock. Um, I'll paste this link in the description. So there are two options to run the server. You can either run it on a Windows 10 machine or you can run it in uh, Ubuntu, a Linux box. So today we're going to install and run this on Windows 10. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download the zip file and as soon as it's finished downloading we're going to unpack it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and extract all. We'll just keep it in the same folder uh, that it downloaded from. It doesn't really matter where you put it. All right, now that we have the Bedrock server zip file extracted, the first thing you're going to want to do is open this Bedrock server how-to. This is going to give you um, instructions on running it, all the different configuration options, and how to use certain configurations like the whitelist and permissions. Oh, also commands, commands that you can run uh, while the server is running. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the configuration. And to do that, we need to open up the server.properties file that will be in the bedrock server folder. It's right here, server.properties. We're gonna right click, open with notepad. All right, so the, we'll just go over a few of these values and we're gonna, not gonna go over everything, just the important ones. So server name, you're going to want to give this some type of server name. So we'll call it test world uh, game mode. You can, I'm just gonna keep it survival, but you can change it to creative or adventure. Difficulty, we'll change this to normal. And then in online mode, we're going to keep it true. What online mode means, is that uh, any of your friends or family that have an Xbox account and play, regardless of if they're playing on your local area network, they will be able to join the game. Uh, so my brother, for example, who lives in a different house can see and connect to my games. Now whitelist, this is important. So if you want any of your friends to join, you keep this as false. Now, if you only want certain people to join in your friends list, then you need to change this to true. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to manage this whitelist. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, level name, we will call this, I'm not really sure if this actually matters, so I'm gonna call it level name, level seed. You can paste a seed in here, leaving it blank will just generate a random world. Uh, default player permissions, we're gonna leave that as members, and then you will be able to give people operator uh, once they join. And I think that, yeah, so that's all the settings that we're going to touch today. So when you exit this, make sure you save it. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just run the server. So we'll double click on the executable. Now I've already run this server on my machine, but the first thing it's going to do is pop up a Windows firewall a security warning. You need to accept the firewall rules. These ports have to be open for people to join your server. All right, so now once this server is running, no one can join it yet. And the reason why is because we have a whitelist. So if we go to the documentation and go down to the whitelist, we can add people to the whitelist using this command right here. So I will go and I will say whitelist add, and then I will add my gamer tag. And we'll do whitelist add, and we'll add Bravery TV, that's Bradley's tablet. We'll add those. So now these are the only two players that can join this world. All right, so we have Minecraft launched now on the same PC that the server is running on. And under LAN games, you'll see that I have this server listed, but not our test world that we just launched. This server is actually running on a different PC in my house that's uh, always on. And, and under LAN games, it doesn't show our server. However, if I go to Bradley's tablet and look, 
he can see both servers. And I think the reason why is because, uh, well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. But for, for whatever reason, if you're on the same computer the server's running on, it won't show in LAN games, at least for me. But you can still join it. And I will show you that in one second. I'm just going to flip back over to this how-to guide. And at the top, you'll see this paragraph that says, when you wish to connect to the server using a client running on the same machine as the server's running on, which is what I'm doing now, run this command. So I run this command, yet the server doesn't show up in my LAN games, but I'm not necessarily sure if that's what that command does. So in order to connect to it, you need to go to servers, and then down at the very bottom, there's a button that says add server. Server name, test world is what we called it. And for the server address, this is always going to be the same. 127.0.0.1. That's your called a loopback address. It's just your local IP on your computer. So, uh, and if you left the ports the same, this should be the default port. Hit play. And now you can see that it located the server and it's loading. And now I am in the server uh, that's running on my machine. And if we just alt tab back, you can see that I just joined here. So now I'm gonna have Bradley join from his tablet and we'll see this update when Bradley joins. All right, and then if we go back over to the server, we can see when Bradley joined and when Bradley left. Um, so it does work from tablet. Uh, tablets can connect, Xboxes can connect, PS4 can connect. However, I do not believe they support Switch yet. Uh, it might be something to do with the Nintendo network, although I'm not sure. All right, so one more thing that I want to show you guys is how to um, give somebody player permissions, uh, you know, operator permission. So if I go and I say show, or I do game rule, show coordinates through, it says I don't have permission to use it. So if I flip back over to the documentation and then go down to permissions, there's a command that you can type uh, to give somebody operator permissions. And that's right here, OP player. So I'm going to go to the server, type in OP, OP and then I'm going to type in my gamer tag it says opt and then my gamer tag. So now if I go back into Minecraft and I say game rule, go coordinates. See now it's, it's showing me that I can use it. If I run it, now I can see my position. You can see right there I'm at 921. I can move around and all that works. Uh, you can also deop. So if you just need to give somebody operator permissions for just a few minutes, you can do that and then run the deop command and remove their permissions. All right, so if I go back in here, So now I can't use a command anymore. So I'm stuck with the position on my screen. Uh, yeah, so that's really about it. Uh, if you guys know how to get, it's not a huge deal, but if you guys know how to get your um, server showing here, if you're running this, the server on the same machine you're playing on, let me know down in the comments. Other than that, yeah, guys, give it a try. It is alpha, so you're going to run into some bugs, but give it a try and let me know uh, if you can get it working and, and, and play and have a good time. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.